What is up? And I am Randy, and welcome to an updated Blue Eyes Chaos Max deck profile. Now, this will be mostly just focusing on uh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max. It's mostly just going to be based around, of course, Blue Eyes Chaos Max, the uh, OTK potential, and also spamming rank A XCs because Master Level 5 is out now. So, Blue Eyes lost its biggest, like, disabler is in the Link format. So, now you don't have to focus on Link zones as much. So, it helps out the place a lot. But without further ado, let's just get right into it. Of course, because it's a Blue Eyes Chaos Max deck profile, you have to have the three Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Um, still one of the best boss monsters in the game, and it's like main deck boss monsters in the game. Um, can end game like an instant, has some decent protection on it as well, and it's a level A. I mean, it's just amazing overall. It's just, it's Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Like, there's really nothing more you can say about it. Like, it's known. Of course, with the Blue Eyes Chaos Max, we have the three normal Blue Eyes White Dragons. These are your ritual fodder for the Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Um, just, I mean, it's Blue Eyes. I mean, it's it's my favorite monster of the game. It's iconic. I love it. I love how they, it's, it got another secret rare printing, and it's my favorite artwork of it, too. So I'm really happy they did the movie Secret Rares. Uh, amazing. I really love it. Uh, for some, uh, say, say one-off dragons now, uh, one Blue Eyes alternative. Um... It's searchable, so, re so you really only need the one, and of course the one Chaos Dragon Levianir. Um, it's searchable as well, so it's insane, and plus it does help with your extenders, like you can bring back, you can rip in a card out of your opponent's hand. It just has so many applications in this deck, and plus all the cards are basically light and dark, so there's the thing. Um, two Incantation Chalice Slime, this is just your search for the... I'll say from the deck to get your incantations going, so nothing really crazy there. Uh, two incantation talismandra, special summons your ritual monster, nothing crazy there. Uh, two candle uh, ritual spells, um, just to bring those out, and then one bookstone for your recursion, and also as well with your pencil plume to recur your uh, say ritual monsters and your ritual spells. So that pretty ends it off there and now we have two zaborg the mega monarch uh this is a way to basically devastate your opponent's extra deck um if you tribute summon itself so you bring it out and then you tribute a light monster so you can tribute itself you can um choose um as many cards equal to the original level or rank so you summon this out you tribute it off you can rip eight cards out of your opponent's extra deck so it's really a good way to stop those Pexy, uh, basically shut down your opponent's extra deck in a way. Then, of course, there's the one-off MF Factor Pain, the Imagination Draco Overlord. Um, really cool card because as soon as these Ritual Summon, your opponent has to skip their next main phase one. So it gives you an extra turn to survive in case you don't open good enough. So you have another excess way to OTK them. Or it's a good going uh, first option too. So you can just summon this out your first turn. And you, your opponent has to skip their main phase one. So it gives you another chance to kill them the next turn. Basically making you go second in a sense. So... It's pretty insane, and he has a really, really good ability, especially now since Master Wolf 5 is out. Um, so then he, so he negates the effects of face-up, fusion, synchro, and exceed monsters while they're on the field. So he becomes basically a skill drain for every extra deck monster besides Link monsters. So really, really good there. Uh, now off to the spells. Um, search. <laughs> Melody of the Awakened Dragon. Uh, searching, searching, searches everything. Your Blue-Eyes Chaos Max, your Chaos Dragon Levenir. Searches everything. Um, trade him. You want to draw. You want to get through your combo, uh, your pieces right away. Get everything going. So definitely trade him. Plus, tons of level 8. So you're, you're never shy with that. Uh, one Monster Reborn, because it's Monster Reborn. Two Chaos Form, because we need Ritual Spells for our Ritual deck. It's good. And also it combos out really well with Advanced Ritual Art, because... The synergy between these two cards is pretty crazy because this can just dump to the graveyard, or this card can dump right to, uh, the blue eyes to the graveyard, and this can just banish from the graveyard, so it opens up your ritual plays a lot more that way, which is really, really nice. Uh, then, of course, we have, because we rock uh, Chalice Slime, it's a way just to search Chalice Slime from the deck to the hand, and also it does recur your ritual spells back to your hand. So it's really good for, especially for a grindy game, if, if it d comes up. Uh, again, as I was saying, draw cards, lots of three ofs, Pot of Desire is definitely good, it's just Pot of Greed. So, 
definitely good on that. And then, of course, Upstart Goblin because a 40, because a 39 card deck is optimal. I mean, it just increases off. Plus, it's just an extra card. Um, for your fusion plays, uh, one Dragon's Mirror. In case your rituals don't go off, we have tons of blue-eyes uh, fusions we can go into. So Dragon's Mirror is definitely a good one, especially how much times you'll be sending blue eyes or alternative to the graveyard. Then, of course, our main win condition, um, the deck, uh, Creature Swap, sets up your OTKs. Uh, basically, you swap up for one of their creatures and you give them a... Uh, they have to choose Incantation. So right there's a Defense Zero Monster opening up your 4k damage. Then if they don't choose it, you can just give it to them with Xi'an Spy. Sets it up that OTK. Just basically you have Incantation out. You Xi'an Spy it, hand it over to them. Then you summon out your Chaos Max and swing it for game. Or it's a good stall card in a sense. So it's really good. So it's good. And Creature Swap is also good because you can Creature Swap out... Uh, your incantations with it if they do choose which they probably will have to choose because mostly the incantation will only be out you can creature swap their let's see with the let's see, one of their monsters and they have to choose your incantations which makes them locked out of their extra deck so it could be could it could be really disruptive for them as well um extra deck time um one number seven drago bullion this card got really really i mean just way better since master rule five it sets up the play just insanely well with a number c107 neo galaxy ice tachyon sets up the big otk push for this card insanely well now so a really good master will help stop this uh combo really well uh more galaxy stuff one galaxy cypher blade and then the one galaxy photon armor and then a 107 tachyon just the normal tachyon then cypher just to take your opponent's stuff and then galaxy eyes photon lords and monster negation and then let's say number 38 hope harbinger for spell negation just get all your negations out you know just in case you, you have certain uh, matches up matchups you can i say usually prepare for anything really with this deck's extra deck uh two herald of arc light uh it's mostly in here for the zaborg sin you send it off you can add a ritual monster or spell so more searching for your ritual cards uh two elder teen and the test if this card sent it's just free two pops and then your dragon's mirror targets a uh, one twin burst which you don't really need dragon's mirror for you can just uh, say contact fuse off for it a uh, one neo blue eyes ultimate dragon and one blue eyes alternative ultimate dragon just in case i mean uh, pretty much game enders at these points if you're making these you're pretty much going to win the game anyway at that point so it's definitely just an option to go to especially with dragons mirror but that is it with the updated blue eyes chaos max dragon deck profile now it goes in it's nothing super crazy competitive it can still take games out of nowhere randomly which is amazing it's really awesome uh, plus it's just blue eyes i mean it's chaos max you gotta love it I mean, you love it or hate it. It's just one of those decks. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe like always. And ring the bell so next time I upload a video, you will know. And I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy wherever you are watching this. And until my next video, bye-bye.